So talking about your actual strategy, right? Yeah. What so do you, what do you do with my, that? My strategy is, I wouldn't say retail or smart money. It's in between. Mm -hmm. So what I do is, um, what, all my years of learning, I would, I was doing the toxic thing of learning a bunch of strategies, mm -hmm. which obviously that's not a smart thing to do. It makes you unprofitable. Mm -hmm. But what, what, my I think it's an important thing to do. It's though. very important because yeah. I learned so much. And my turning point was instead of copying a certain strategy, I built my own strategy yep. where I used all these different gurus' techniques and I put the confluences all together and developed something where my, like, I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So what, what it came down to me is FIB being one of my ultimate confluences, which a lot of people like to use. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of other confluences. Which like, level on the FIB? I, 618, 786 for, go, 786 mm -hmm. for gold, 618 for Forex pairs. Okay. Uh, those are my golden zones. And a bunch of other confluences, like previous high of no the day. No, 382 <laughs> has been, been moving good this week. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. When the market's like like war and crazy, yeah, yeah. you know, it just 382 is Those like, quick this, moves. dude, it loves the 382. <laughs> yeah. and That's why I was getting shit on this week because of the 382. But yeah, um, just using the FIB and a bunch of different confluences and putting it all together. And I just pretty much trade trend pullback. And it's made me profitable. Really? Yeah. Trend pullback. Simple like that. What time pullback. frame mainly? One hour. One hour. One hour, 15 minute for like refinement for entries. Mm -hmm. And honestly, bro, that's, that's changed everything for me. And Damn. sell limits and buy limits. So that would be like, the, that's a psychology tip. Like put your sell limits and leave it and get the hell out of there. So have you, you had mentioned the set and forget by Alex, yeah. right? Did you take any of his courses or anything I, like I that? I actually never not? took any of his courses, but I do watch his videos. Mm -hmm. Like how he reads structure. I, I like how he reads structure and all that, but Honestly, never learned anyone's strategy. I'm not from him, mm -hmm. but I, I learned. He trades, he trades a very interesting way. He does. It's Honestly. very simple. I learned. I actually learned some things from him mm -hmm. in his free telegram at no, one he's, point. It's very like he's, his is all break and retest yeah. type strategies, yeah, it's right? Simple. Very simple. Like he I, limits, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I respect him a lot because he's one of the most transparent gurus that made it. Mm -hmm. And I think in like the whole space, mm -hmm. if you show like recently he's been having a rough time and he's just mm -hmm. been showing it all, mm -hmm. you know, and I respect that. You know, yeah. a lot of people are so key on their signals and courses that, and all it's that. just that when people, when you get to a certain size, you're uh -huh. going to be more prone to be getting attacked. Yep. Right. And yep. he's under attack. Oh yeah. You know, for, for several different things right yep. now. And He's trying to navigate the best way, the best way that he can. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, you know, if he stays focused, stays disciplined, like stays transparent about what he's doing, mm -hmm. he'll end up in a better position. Hundred percent, right? for yep. sure. Every like, it, it's cool because it it shows people out there that are having bad times. Like, look, these big gurus are having the same problems as you. Yeah. They just don't show it. Yeah, you know, everybody has this goes through the same thing. It's the way trading is. You're not going to be a perfect trader. You're not going to win all the time. You're going to lose funded accounts. Just because you lose a funded account does not make you a bad trader. It's, it's normal. Yeah. Another thing I, I hate on a lot is people uh, like hating on the, the way the prop from like the module works on yeah, people, yeah. you know, the, but the markets are the same way. Yeah. You know, you, someone has to lose for you to enter. Yeah. Someone's going to get, lose their challenge in order for someone to get funded and get a payout. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing. It's an interesting if you're gonna, concept. Yeah. If you're going to go, yeah. if you're going to put money in a broker, same thing in a prop firm, at least in a yeah. prop firm, you're not going to actually Yeah, like a lot capital. of people uh, will say this about me. They'll say, oh, he's betting against everyone, yeah. right? Um, which is interesting, right? Mm -hmm. It's an interesting statement. I think at the end of the day, if, this is what people have to realize. If people didn't win, yeah. we wouldn't have a business. You know Agreed. what I'm saying? 100%. So I'm rooting for people to win, right? Mm -hmm. I'm rooting for everyone. Like yeah. the, the fact of the matter is people are not going to be successful because <laughs> the human being is flawed in the sense that it doesn't, it, it's hard to remain disciplined. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard to remain focused. It's yep. hard to do the same thing over yep. and over and over and over again. So I'm not necessarily betting against anyone, right? Yep. I'm really just looking at how does the human interact with the market? How does mm -hmm. the human interact with really anything, right? Mm -hmm. Any situation. And ultimately there's, there's odds, right? Mm -hmm. Ultimately there's a success and a failure rate. Yep. Um, so that's my theory, yep. right? That's all. That's ultimately what my theory is. So yep. I think the more that we can balance the, the payouts and obviously the revenue, yep. right. And we can have it in a way where people are getting paid, you know, mm -hmm. without doing anything to mess anyone's yep. accounts up or anything, you know, the more we can maintain that equilibrium, that's the company's going to grow yep. way more, right? If, if there's too much, if there's too much failing going on, there's not enough payouts. Ultimately it's, it's not going to energetically be a situation that people are going to want to participate in, mm -hmm. right? This chance of success isn't high enough. Yeah. So we're just trying to balance that. And long-term just trying to think about how can we, we talked about data earlier. Yeah. Long-term we're just like, how do we utilize the data? data right? I think fast. a lot of this last two years has been, how do we balance the risk of like the challenges and the rules and mm -hmm. the, the broker and all, all like the brokers that are offered between demo and live? Mm -hmm. Like, how do we balance all this? And the next evolution of this is how do we 
how do we monetize this data more than anyone could ever foresee, mm -hmm. right? Like, how do we really find an edge? It's not easy with retail trading. Oh, club, no, no, no. You know? 100%. And another thing is, speaking of that is, I don't think people have thanked you enough because you've mm -hmm. given so many opportunity to people to change their lives. Like, like I said, like a l me two years ago, dreamed to be here. Now I'm sitting here like with the CEO, right. of the funny trader getting, doing a podcast. And if I didn't have access to a prop firm, I would not be here right now. I would probably be blowing live accounts, little, putting 5k in a live blow, blow, blow. But you know, you gave the opportunity to a lot of traders to really change their lives. And you know, people need to be appreciative of that. I and really then, appreciate You know, it. hating of all, all the hate people get for yeah. prop firms and stuff. Yeah.